And the Biden administration is racing to get both sides to a deal while at the same time preparing for a worst case scenario. News agent correspondent Kelly Meyer is live for us in Washington with the latest there, Kelly. Well, Nicole, these talks are still ongoing at this hour here at the Department of Labor. Union workers or union representatives walking in here around 9 a.m. this morning. The White House telling us that they are committed to, quote, staying at the table. But this is now impacting the president's go-to mode of transportation, the Amtrak. The president saying he's stepping in to try to avert the crisis before things get worse. President Biden racing the clock to derail what could be a crippling crisis. The White House facing a Friday deadline to broker a deal between railroad companies and unions to avoid a work stoppage, a first in 30 years. A nationwide shutdown of the rail industry affecting everything from the shipment of critical supplies to your commute, possibly driving up gas prices. The shutdown is not acceptable. That is not something uh, that we want. Today, Labor Secretary Marty Walsh sitting down with rail companies and unions to come up with a solution. The president touting his relationship with unions on Labor Day. I promise to be the most pro-union president in American history, and Marty's keeping me make that promise. The White House says they've been in negotiations for months. In those talks, Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg and Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack urging all involved to stay at the table. But the administration already making a backup plan should the talks stall. We are working with other modes of transportation, including uh, the shippers and truckers, air, air, freight, uh, air freight, to see how they can step in and keep goods moving uh, in case of, of this rail shutdown. But the trucking industry may not be able to take on that load, already facing its own challenges. Trucks, trailers, and drivers in short supply. It would take roughly 467,000 long haul trucks to pick up the slack. There can be some help, but there is no way to completely replace, you know, to take care of that tonnage that goes on rail. I mean, there's there's a reason why you see so many trains is because it, it takes trains to get product from point A to point B. And if an agreement is not reached, Congress could step in, forcing both parties to sign an agreement or come to an agreement reached last month. And this wouldn't be the first time Congress would intervene in something like this. It happened back in 1982 and 1986, and both times Congress helped to bring the crisis to an end. Nicole? Again, we hope Congress can help this time as well. Kelly, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.